Okay guys, so we're babysitting these Russian tortoises and they're so cool. So they'll eat anything. They'll eat broccoli, carrots, dandelion leaves, even grass. So they are about 11 to 12 years old and there's a male and a female. The way to tell from a male from a female is the tail. So if it's a long skinny tail, then it's a male. And if it's a short stubby tail, then it's a female. These guys can live to be a hundred years old. And tortoises have been on the planet for about 220 million years. That's a long time, guys. So this is the female, because you can tell, see the short stubby tail? And there's three, there's two lines on it, so that's how you know it's a female too. And the tortoises have the sh this shell for protection, because if you stick something in front of their face, their heads will go right in. So they'll basically hide in their shell. It's rock solid. So these guys are from some parts of Russia, Asia, Afghanistan, and some parts of Iran. One fun fact. Not all turtles are tortoises, but all t tortoises are turtles. So, here, so females are also larger. So this is, the f this is the female. And the male is usually smaller and has this long tail. You see the tail, it's really long. And then she has the short stubby tail. These tortoises eat leafy greens like dandelion leaves. Here I got two dandelion leaves and these guys love to munch on leafy greens. So I'll just pop one in there for the male and one for the female. By the way, these guys' names are Leonardo and Michelangelo. That's Michelangelo and that's Leonardo. So these guys will need a couple um, structures in their enclosure. You can use to go on top of for sunbathing for the heat lamp. You also need a heat lamp and a regular light. And they also need a water dish with fresh water every day. They also need this food dish. Make sure you get them some healthy leafy greens food also on top of this. And they will need a sleeping area. So like this with soft soil so that they can make a nest. Like right here, that's where he slept last night. You can see the spot. So fun facts, these guys can actually dig down and burrow six feet deep underground. So one thing that you will need for tortoises is a spray bottle. So the spray bottle will keep them dry and stop from skin peeling. This is the spray bottle. I would spray them about one or two times a day. So you'll just spray through the cage or you can lift up the cage and spray them. It's really good to spray them because it keeps their skin from getting dry. One thing you have to do with tortoises is you have to, have to, have to take them outside once or twice a day because it lets them burn energy and not just be in this cage all day with artificial light. They need to have the sun and um, they really like to sunbathe outside. Let's take them outside. All right, so we're gonna just let them run around for about 10 minutes. You should do that every day. And so it might be just for me, but the female is way faster than the male and the male is less active.
actually pretty fast for this little guy. So one important thing to make sure you never drop a tortoise is that you hold it with your hand going under your forefingers and your thumb going on top. That way you can hold it without dropping it. Alright, that's all. Bye guys.